Hi, and welcome to Copyright Matters TV. My name is Belinda Weaver and I'm the owner of Copyright Matters Copywriting. An important part of optimizing text for higher search engine rankings is keyword frequency. Now you don't want to use your keywords as frequently as possible. You want to use them as frequently as is natural. Today I'm going to run through some techniques for finding opportunities to use those keywords without looking like a spam bot. You can use these in your web copy, your blog posts, your directory listings, your YouTube descriptions. Yep, you guessed it. You can use these techniques in any online copywriting to help you use your keywords more frequently. Now I'm going to be using an example to show you what I'm talking about. This is a website I was asked to optimize not that long ago. As you can see, it's a website promoting quit smoking support and quit smoking strategies. While that might be apparent to us, would you believe that their homepage only actually used the word smoking three times? So how is Google supposed to know it's a website about smoking? As smart as search engines are, you still have to spoon feed them as to what your web page or blog post is about. Using your keywords frequently is just one of the ways you can do that. Now for the purposes of this example, I'm going to focus on just one page from the I Can Quit website, the Quit Plan page. So let's run through this SEO secret. Now the technique to finding keyword opportunities is replacing high level references with more specific references that use your keywords. Phrases like our products or our services could well apply to any number of industries, any number of businesses, any number of products. So they are prime candidates for a keyword, a more specific keyword. Going back to the quit plan page for just a moment, when I put that copywriting into a word cloud with the most frequently used words in larger font, you can now see that this could well be a page about quitting pie. It's crazy. And it's all because they haven't used the right keywords frequently enough. When I was doing my optimization on this website, I did a lot of keyword research for each individual page. The three keywords I wanted to focus on for the quit plan page were quit smoking plan, stop smoking plan, quit smoking strategies. So here we go. A great place to start is your headline. Rather than work out your plan, which could be a plan for anything, even quitting pie. This is a great place for your keyword. Work out your quit smoking plan. Jumping down to the second paragraph, your quit smoking strategies may include other quit smoking strategies. A fun way to approach your attempt to quit smoking or a fun way to approach your attempt to stop smoking. If you haven't yet started your quit smoking journey, Take a look at my journey and see if this fits your plan to stop smoking. Get started on your quit smoking plan. Set a date to stop smoking. Now you probably spotted a few other opportunities to use the keywords I mentioned. But I don't actually want to take them all. Why not? Because it will read terribly. And you always have to keep your reader in mind. So here's one last SEO tip. An important last step is to read your new SEO copywriting aloud. Make sure it makes sense. Make sure it reads naturally. You don't want to use your keywords as frequently as possible. You want to use your keywords as frequently as is natural. That's it. It really is very easy. Now putting the new SEO copywriting of the Quit Plan page into the Word Cloud tool again, you can see that the most frequently used words on this page are Quit Smoking, Plan and Strategies. And that's exactly what I was after. So there you have it. Easy to apply SEO secrets to using those keywords more, more frequently. If you'd like to find out more tips about SEO copywriting and marketing copywriting, look for the Copy Detective blog, or you can say hi on social media. Just search for Copyright Matters or Belinda Weaver on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google+. See you next time.